are we reading? This book. What is it? Math. Big Ideas, Joni. Oh no, that's not right at all. <laughs> Big Ideas, Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. The pirates who usually don't do anything. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Say hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay. This is no way. We should just play dinner. Oh. Here and go here and here. Look, it says something on this page. What? It says, to Mr. Twisty. We sure do love those twisted cheese curls. Oh. <laughs> First page. Ahoy there, I'm Pa Grape. I'm the captain of this ship that doesn't go anywhere, and I want you to meet a couple of my friends, Larry the Cucumber and Mr. Lunt. We're the pirates who don't do anything, and what that means is that we don't do anything. Nothing. Nada. Zip. But to be completely honest, we really did do something once. Just once. I figured you might want to hear about it. It's a good story. This is a, a cucumber, too. Mm-hmm. And what is his name? Um, Larry the Cucumber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it was a very long time ago. We were hanging out down by the seashore, not doing much of anything. Except for eating cheese curls. We love cheese curls. We love the way they go. Crunch. Anyway, this guy named Jonah showed up. He wanted us to take him to a faraway place called Tarshish. We told him, no way. After all, we're the pirates who don't do anything. Then he offered to pay us a whole mess of money. When we figured how many cheese curls we could buy, we knew we ought to think about it. Even though we're the pirates who don't do anything, we love to eat cheese curls. So Jonah hopped aboard our ship and off to Tarshish we went. Just imagine, here we were, the pirates who don't do anything, and we were doing something after all. But don't tell anybody, we wouldn't want that part to get around. We hadn't gone very far when suddenly this huge, gigantic storm came up. Crash went the thunder. Splash went the waves. Crunch went the cheese curls. I eat when I'm nervous. Oy vey, that was me. It was a very scary storm. Ooh. Is it a scary storm? Looks like it. Anyway, we figured this... Oh, what happened to the page there? Um, anyways, we figured that somebody up there was pretty angry with somebody down here, and it was time to find out who it was. That's when I got this great idea. We could play a card game called Go Fish. It's really fun. So we played the game. There was one rule. Whoever lost walked the plank. Everybody played the game. Larry, Mr. Lunt, and me, plus Jonah, and this annoying worm named Khalil who sold stuff. I figured he was the troublemaker. But you know what? I was wrong. It wasn't Khalil who lost the game. It was Jonah. And sure enough, Jonah confessed he was to blame for everything. Ah, uh, is that the scary storm rain? Mm-hmm, it's raining. It's leaking through the roof, through the boat. Why? Because it's a crazy storm. You see, Jonah was a prophet. That's a guy who gets messages from God and delivers them to others. God wanted Jonah to deliver a message to some people in Nineveh, but Jonah didn't listen. He ran away instead. That's because Jonah didn't like those Ninevites. They were really mean. They slapped each other with fish. Have you ever been slapped with a fish? Oi, does it sting? And it's all slimy. Gross. <laughs> He's getting slapped with a fish over there, see? Ew. Who's this? I don't know, just some random Ninevites. But this is cucumber. Oh, it looks like it looks like a pea, doesn't it? Yeah. A pea. Okay. What's going on on this page? Oh, look, he's got a rubber duck floaty. <laughs> Can you stop on me? Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> 
So anyway, Jonah didn't want to go there. That's why he ran away and jumped on board our ship. That's also why God sent a great big gigantic storm. So Jonah said if we tossed him overboard, God might keep the rest of us safe. But Larry told Jonah he didn't have to get tossed overboard. We had a plank he could just walk off. So he did. Kaploosh. Sure enough, the storm stopped. It was a lot easier than anybody expected, so we tried to reel him back in. Larry tossed him a life preserver, and Jonah grabbed it. But don't you think the storm will just start all over again? Mm-hmm. Isn't that what would happen? I mean, I don't know. That's when something amazing happened. A big fish swam up and swallowed Jonah whole. One big gulp, just like that. Then the fish started pulling us through the water, so we started shooting stuff at him. We loaded up the cannon with whatever we could find. Fire one, I shouted. Kaboom! Out shot a tennis racket. Fire two. Kaboom! Out shot some croquet mallets. Fire three. Kaboom! Out shot a bowling ball. Whew. What's this? It's a bowling ball. Yeah, so why did this... Have it in his mouth and just had it in there all day. I guess he likes to eat all kinds of stuff. He just swallows everything whole. The fish jumped up and swallowed the bowling ball. That was good for us, but not so good for Khalil. He was inside the ball. Khalil said that the bowling ball rolled right up to Jonah inside the belly of that whale. Khalil tried to cheer Jonah up, but old Jonah was being a real grumpy pants. Then all of a sudden, they heard voices. Khalil said they heard some kind of musical number or something that told Jonah how God was a God of second chances. Look, they're inside the big fish. They're, they're like inside his belly. Uh, what were these in his mouth? Because he ate them all. Why did he eat them all? He's just a hungry fish. He eats everything. What happened here? Oh, look, they're back on land. They're covered in seaweed. <laughs> okay, let's see. So Jonah prayed and asked God for a second chance to go to Nineveh and deliver God's message. And guess what happened? God gave him a second chance. Burp! The big fish burped Jonah and Khalil right out of his mouth and onto the sand. And surprise, Jonah's camel, Reginald, was there waiting for him. Well, that's awfully good timing. How did he know to be there? Do they have, like, fish on their heads? What is that? <laughs> okay. Jonah went to Nineveh and told those people, Stop it! God didn't want them to keep slapping each other with fishes. God doesn't like it when people are mean, and you know what? They obeyed God's message. Even the king was sorry for acting that way. So God gave the people in Nineveh a second chance, just like he gave Jonah a second chance. You know, sometimes we all need second chances. I know I do. How about you? But he doesn't have any faces on oh. his head. Huh. Oh, look, the little one down there, the... Right down there, see? He doesn't have one either. They both don't, but the rest of them do. Yeah, he doesn't. But look, do but look, there's a fish on the floor. Yeah, why is there? I don't know. Maybe they were slapping each other with that fish and then they just dropped it on the floor. So, how about you? Have you ever needed a second chance for something? Lincoln, have you? No. You never need a second chance? I don't know about that. So anyway, that's the one time that the pirates who don't do anything actually did something, and it was so much fun. We're thinking, hey, maybe we should do stuff more often. But then again, maybe not. By the way, you got any cheese curls? I guess that's the end. Ooh. There's fish on the back. Fishes on the back. Fishes. What? Why are they real? <laughs> I don't know. What did you think about that book? Good. Good. <laughs> I'll read it. You're going to read it? Yeah, you. Okay. Read it. Ah.
seen you first say, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> I lo love you. I really want you to not go in it. Go downstairs again in the hotel. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. Give you a big smile. <laughs>